Hi guys, this is Breland. A lot of you guys may know me as the guy that sings that song that goes, don't touch my truck. Today I wanted to teach you a quick lesson on how to write songs. It's pretty simple and it's not nearly as difficult as people think. You only need three main things. You need a melody, a rhythm, and lyrics. First things first, you need a melody. It's just a string of notes put together. And so I have a melody that goes like this. So I'm gonna sing it to you one more time. It's pretty simple. Um, and once you have that melody, you have to figure out what the rhythm is. And so the rhythm is all of those little dots that I was just singing. Da, 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 da. That's kind of like one line. And then you have da, 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 da. And that's kind of like another line. So we have two lines that we need to try to fill in lyrics for based on the rhythm that I'm singing. And so each line of these seven, of these uh, two lines, each line has seven syllables in it. So we need a line that has seven syllables and then another line that has seven syllables with words and that will fill the space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, right? That's the, that's the amount of space that we have to fill in with our lyrics. So I'm thinking we could say something like, I can sing this song and dance. I can sing this song and dance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can sing this song and dance fills the space that we need to fill for the line. So I can sing this song and dance. Now we need to rhyme the second lyric with the first lyric. And the way that you rhyme lyrics the easiest is by taking the ending word and finding another ending word that rhymes with it and then filling in the rest of the line based on what that ending word will be. So the first line, I can sing this song and dance, ends with the word dance. There are a lot of words that rhyme with dance that we can use for the second line. And one, one thing that we could say is chance or ants or France. But I think for the purpose of this, it might be cool to say camp because camp, you guys are in camp right now. So I'm thinking maybe we could say, I can sing this song and dance and teach this song to summer camp. So, and teach this song to summer camp is, is kind of actually eight syllables, but the and is, is just the, the syllable in between the lines. So sing this song to summer, teach this song to summer camp. So let's try to put it together. I can sing this song and dance and teach this song to summer camp. See, it works. It works. It makes sense. It rhymes. It's catchy. Um, and, and that's pretty much how you put a song together. Once you have a melody, you figure out how many syllables you need, and then you just put the words into it. So for this one, I'll sing it for you one more time. And if you want to count along with the syllables or sing along with me, it goes like this. I can sing this song and dance and teach this song to summer camp. And that's, that's, there you have it. <laughs> that's how you write a song. Again, my name is Breland, and I hope you guys have a great time making some music. <laughs>